Oh wow, we have two pea shooters, they have none. Yeah. Hello YouTube, I am Private Dave here with uh Hi Hila. Howdy. And this is the new map Lonely Island. going after the helicopter. I'll get the guy behind. That'd be helpful. I'm 
dead. The X7 got. How are you doing? Not bad. A little beat up. I'll be there in a second. I think I've got an arrow cobra on me now. That'd be You'd helpful. Just turning around. Yeah, that's definitely on me. I'm almost there. That was a fail on my part. Uh, it's no problem. Three more seconds I would have that torpedo out and it wouldn't have mattered. I just couldn't turn uh, fast enough to actually shoot anybody. Alright. I was probably going too fast. We got some stuff in case. Yeah, I'll cover. Probably not the greatest thing to choose for this, but whatever. Got him. Let me go after those destroyers. Ships are moving around quite a bit.
Oh, I lost my engine and I'm reloading. Ouch. Well, I'm dead again. Man, there's nothing out here by these destroyers. It's gonna bring a bomber or something. I mean, I might take them out before you get here, but there's no one. How are you dealing with the uh, destroyer? Almost done. Nice. Done. Hold on to the land. Oh, there's still water stuff over here. Oh, hey, we won. Let's see if I get credit for that last man kill. For the top two. Yeah. Not too bad. Oh, I didn't get credit for it. I got, um... 45,000, uh, credits. Alright, so now we're gonna look at the, um, 
the American tech train and see what changes they've uh, done. So um, I think the most obvious ones would be the P47D going from 8 to 9. I think it has, yeah, it has the same loadout. Um, and then instead of getting three uh, King Cobras at level 9, you get two at 9 and then one at 11. Uh, they appear to have the same loadout, except now the one at 11 has a uh, higher repair cost. The uh, P38G uh, went from 11 to 10, which um, I'm going to say it now. Uh, I might have been overly uh, critical on the lightnings before. Uh, I just recently realized uh, how to actually play it. Where uh, Before I was making the mistake of trying to use my flaps to turn, which would actually make it worse, which is uh, interesting to find out. Um, then you have the P51D Mustang, which was level 14, which is now level four, uh, 13. Uh, I think that's it for the Americans. Did you notice anything else that was different? Uh, no, I haven't really noticed anything, no. Alright. Then, to look at the, uh... Also, the, uh, Russian. Which I noticed earlier, uh, while I was playing my SU-2. It now has a pylon. Actually, two pylons. As I found out when I couldn't use my bomb. Uh, which is interesting to, uh... Um, I'm not sure if the other ones do or not. Uh, no. At least not the, uh, IL-2. Uh, then looking at the British. The bow fighters, they now have pylons. Meaning, if you had these unlocked, they're still unlocked for you, but you can't use them until you get the pylon. Which is, um, really shitty. It's the same for the, uh, the other um, bow fighter as well. And then uh, to look at the British tech tree finally. Oh, before that, the Germans. Uh, I forgot to add the um, Arado, I think that's how you pronounce it. 2, 3, 4. What do you think, Hi -hi -hi? Uh, Where are we? The German tech tree, the uh, level 20 jet bomber, after the H-111. What do you think it's uh, pronounced as? I think it's Arado. Arado? I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't look German. Well, I mean... Anyways, uh... I need some of those little dots with the O. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, it loses all firepower. Um, it can't defend itself. However, it's got two jet engines. It goes uh, 735 kilometers an hour. The turning is, well, not that great. Considering it's a, uh, it has the extra drag from the two jet engines. Um, carries three 500 kilogram bombs as you can see right there and that's pretty much it uh, actually it looks pretty nice though and going on to the British so you start out with the um, two fury and two nimrods uh, you get two 7.7 .7 millimeter Vickers E machine guns a uh, good amount of ammo uh, I th yeah, it's the same on this one. The Nimrod starts out with the same. Um, it's pretty much the same, playing with a uh, different name, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, you can also get the Swordfish Mark One at level zero. Um, it gets one 7.7 millimeter Vickers K machine gun, uh, one turret, which is the same, and then you get a Mark 12 torpedo, and that's all you get. Um, it's uh, very slow, but then again, it's a biplane, so.
and the turn time is absolutely horrendous. Um, then at level 1 you get the Gladiator Mark II. It's four 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns. Um, it goes 414 kilometers an hour, which is a slight improvement over the Fury, a big improvement over the Swordfish. 16.0 uh, turn time, which is very good. Uh, that's pretty much uh, the most noticeable stuff. At level 2, you get the Blenheim, which gets um, one 7.7 millimeter Browning machine gun. And then one 7.7 millimeter Vickers K machine gun uh, uh, dual, I believe. And then one 7.7 uh, millimeter dual Browning machine gun, and it can carry four 250 uh, pound bombs or two 500 pound bombs. Uh, you have to unlock the pylon to carry the 500 pound bombs, and it can upgrade uh, engine and air resistance. You also get the Hurricane Mark One at a uh, Rank two gets eight 7.7 millimeter Brian machine guns. Uh, you can upgrade the engine air resistance. It goes uh, 467 kilometers an hour, 22.1 second turn time, which is decent. It seems to be the average um, between the British and the Germans, uh, like 21 or 22 on most of them at least. Um, Blenheim goes 428 and has a turn time of 24.2. At level 3, you get the Beaufort, Mark um, 8. eight. Uh, um, you get one dual 12.7mm Browning machine gun, one 7.7mm uh, dual Browning machine gun, and then you can carry four 250 pound bombs, one Mark, uh, sorry, one 18-inch uh, torpedo Mark 8, and then, or sorry, um, Mark 13, and then uh, two 500-pound bombs. You have to, you can get um, two pylons, one air resistance, and an engine. Approach to standard. At level four, you get the Spitfire Mark 1. Uh, gets eight 7.7-millimeter Browning machine guns. You can uh, upgrade the engine or air resistant, actually, and air resistant. It goes 527 kilometers an hour, turn time of 15.6, which is amazing. Um, I don't really think you're going to have any problems out turning anybody in this, unless it's a uh, the reserve Russian plane. Uh, level 5, you get the Beaufort, um, the first Beaufort, which gets four 20mm uh, Hispano cannons, one 7.7mm Browning machine gun uh, turret, and it can carry one 18-inch uh, torpedo. You can upgrade one pylon, uh, air resistance, and an engine. It goes 536 kilometers an hour and a turn time of 23.7 seconds. Um, it doesn't look like much of a turning difference on paper between the next bow fighter, which has 28.5 and then max speed of 490. Gets um, six 12.7 millimeter Brian machine guns and four uh, cannons like the one before, same turret. However, it feels very uh, sluggish with the turning. Uh, same loadout, except you can install eight rockets uh, instead of a torpedo. You can upgrade two pylons, air resistance, engine. Uh, you also get at rank six or level six the Spitfire Mark II, which gets four 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns and two 20 millimeter cannon. Uh, air, engine air resistance uh, as usual. It has a turn time of 20.4 and a max speed of 450, um, 558, oh my god, 548, my bad on that one. Uh, I'm actually really liking the Spitfire Mark II. Uh, it's a fun play. Um, at 7 you get the Typhoon Mark 1A, 
which gets uh, 12 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns. Uh, it can carry two 250-pound bombs or two 500-pound bombs. Um, not sure why it's two instead of four 250-pound bombs, but whatever. Engine air resistance, as usual. Uh, it goes 522 kilometers an hour, uh, turn time of 23.7 seconds. Uh, you also get two Wellingtons at uh, level 7. They have two 7.7 millimeter Browning machine gun, uh, dual Browning machine gun turrets, and then two 7.7 millimeter Vickers K machine gun, uh, 10 250 pound bombs, or you can get 18 250 pound bombs, a Mark 12 torpedo, two of those. Uh, nine 500 pound bombs or one 4,000 pound bomb. Uh, you get four pylon upgrades, the engine and air resistance. It goes um, 378 kilometers, uh, turn time of 42.7. Uh, I think it's the same with the, uh, the other one which is the late version. And then at 8 you get the Spitfire Mark 5B. It goes 540 kilometers an hour, turn time of 21.0 seconds. It gets uh, two 20 millimeter cannons, four 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns. It's pretty much the same as um, the Mark II, you would see. Uh, I think it actually goes slower. Yeah, it does. But then, yeah, it turns slower too. I'm not sure what the upgrade in that is. Um, you also get the Wellington Mark III at level 8, which gets um, one uh, dual 7.7mm Browning machine gun, one quad 7.7mm Browning machine gun, uh, two single 7.7mm Vickers K machine guns. Uh, it can carry 10 250-pound bombs, 18 250-pound bombs, two Mark 12 torpedoes, nine 500-pound bombs, or, uh, as usual, one 4,000 pound bomb. Uh, four pylon upgrades, uh, air resistance, installing uh, a new engine. Um, yeah. That one is very expensive. Um, 170,000 experience to, to carry the 4,000 pound bomb, apparently. Uh, you don't get anything at level eight, uh, 9, but at level 10 you get the Spitfire Mark 9. It has four, pretty much the same loadout as the other one, except it can carry a bomb. Um, not that the loadout is bad, uh, the four machine guns and two cannons is pretty good actually. Uh, it's faster than the others, it goes 593. Uh, better turn time, 18.5. Here it is in the garage. Pretty nice plane. Um, you also get the Wellington Mark 10, which gets um, the same machine gun loadout as the one before it. Um, actually, the same loadout as the one before it, exactly. Uh, It's weird. It's uh, it goes the same speed and has the same turning. So I'm just guessing it's probably just a uh, maybe a heavily armored or a more armored version of it. Maybe it's sturdier. Who knows? Uh, at eleven, you get the Spitfire. Uh, another Spitfire. Uh, actually, that's. Not bad. Uh, two 12.7 millimeter Browning machine guns, two cannons as usual, and that can carry two 250 pound bombs. You can upgrade the engine or the air resistant, or sorry, and air resistant. It goes 595 uh, kilometers an hour, 18.5 second turn time. So same turning, but slightly. Faster. 
Here it is. And then you get the Bowfighter Mark 21, which gets four 12.7 millimeter uh, Browning machine guns. Uh, four cannons and then one turret. So the same for that, except uh, this one can carry rockets as well. Uh, two pylon upgrades, air resistance, and engine. It goes 520 and a turn time of 42.2, which seems horrific. At least in my opinion. Um. Then at 12, you get the Mosquito, which is a uh, a very famous plane made out of plywood to be uh, a very fast ground attack plane, if I do believe. Um, four 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns and four 20 millimeter cannons. It actually has a decent looking uh, gun loadout. Uh, max speed of 657 kilometers and a turn time of 31.6. So I would imagine it would play like the uh, P-38. At least I think it would. Uh, the loadout is... It can carry two 250-pound bombs, two 500-pound bombs, or eight rockets. You can get three pylon upgrades and then air resistance and engine. At level 13, you get the Typhoon, Mark 1B Late, which gets uh, four 20mm uh, Hispano cannons. Goes 522 kilometers an hour with a turn time of 23.7 uh, seconds. 26, um, 26 meters a second uh, ray of climb. Uh, two 250-pound bombs, two 500-pound bombs, or eight rockets. Um, pretty common loadout for the British, I would see. Um, at level 14, you get the Tempest Mark V, which is this plane right here. Uh, four cannons, like its predecessor. It goes 641 kilometers, turn time of 24.0, which doesn't seem as bad. Um, gun loadout, uh, or bomb loadout rather, and carry two 500 pound bombs, which is actually really nice. Uh, engine air resistance is the only upgrades you can get on. At level 16, I believe? Yeah, 16. You get the Lancaster Mark III, which is a beautiful plane. It gets, um, two dual 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns as you can see in the nose and um, right there and then it gets a uh, quad 7.7 millimeter Browning machine gun in the tail right here uh, gets 14 500 pound bombs or two 4,000 pound bombs uh, in my opinion, I think the 14 500 pound bombs would be better because you can hit more ground targets without having to reload. At least that's my opinion. Uh, engine, air resistance, and then a pylon, which costs a ton of experience. Uh, 550,000 uh, ex aircraft experience to carry two 4,000 pound bombs per which is insane. Uh, its max speed is 462 kilometers, uh, turn time of 33.2. Uh, um, looks pretty nice. It looks like it uh, would be a fun plane to fly. Yeah, a very well-known plane as well. I'm assuming you've heard of the uh, Lancaster High High Level? Yeah. What's your opinion of it in uh, in game? Uh, I've only seen one, but I can tell you they I got shot down before I even got close. So like, I really like the tail on it, like the dual whatever goes up. I, I just it looks like a really nice plane. 
You mean the quad? No, like the tail, how it like, uh, oh. has like two rudders or something. Kind of like the, um, the Liberator and the mid Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I really like it. Um, I, I can't, I, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless when I see it, but they're crazy. I really want one. Indeed. Uh, then you have the, you get two meters, uh, the Meteor F3 and the C Meteor F3 at rank, uh, level 17. It goes, um, 837 kilometers and a turn time of 33.9. Uh, it gets four cannons, and that's it. Now, uh, I'm probably gonna have someone point this out or get criticized for this. I honestly don't see the point in getting the Meteor. Um, as far as I can tell, it's the slowest uh, jet in the game, and has the worst turning of the jets in the game, and it only gets four 20mm cannons. So I mean, at least in my opinion, I don't really see, I mean, it's a nice plane. Uh, I've heard about it for, before, and you know, I like the plane. I don't really see the benefit of getting it over the other British planes you can get, at least in my opinion. Uh, what do you think, uh, Hi Uh, you know, I, I think I'd just get it kind of like just to be a reward for grinding out to level 17, but uh, I guess you're kind of right. I mean, a 33.9 second turn time is just kind of ridiculous for a jet. Yeah, especially when you have um, other jets like the Sabre, which go uh, 1,050 kilometers and they have a turn time of 17. Though, I mean, it doesn't get cannons like the uh, the Meteor, but it gets six Browning machine guns. So, I just don't see the benefit in getting the Meteor, in my opinion. But, uh, it, it yet again, it's just my opinion. Um, I'm probably biased because I like the American jet. Whatever. Uh, it look you get another one at 18, the meter F4 LW, which it looks like just another variant of it, which is the same, pretty much just to fill out your garage, I guess, or your hangar rather. Um, it looks like it's the exact same for stats and armament. Yeah, it is. Pretty much it's just another one to fill your garage with. Though it's more expensive and costs a lot more to repair. Which seems kind of, um, cheap. Uh, then you get Another one at 19, the Meteor F4 SW, which, uh, yet again, exact same plane, uh, just higher repair, and it costs more. And, you know, it's just to fill out your garage, pretty much, is all I can guess. They probably look the same, too, um, if you look at them. At least in my opinion, but, um, oh, never mind, this one doesn't have the, uh, the little, cr uh, beam or whatever in the jet engine. Uh, yeah. But, um, comparing them to the other jets, you have the Germans, which have the ME-163, which has 21 second turning, uh, and it goes 955, which has two 30mm cannons. Uh, yet again, in my opinion, the 30mm cannon is a lot better than the 20, though I haven't really used, I've used the 30mm cannon more than I have the 20mm, so it could just be my opinion. Uh, you also get the HU-162, which goes 900 and has a turn time of 28, which is still better than the Meteor, and it gets two 20mm cannons, so it actually has less firepower, uh, which is one thing, I guess. Uh, the ME-262, which goes 865, which has a turn time of 30.3 and gets four 30mm cannons. 
which is still better than the Meteor, uh, and it even has better firepower. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't see the point in the Meteor. Uh, I'm probably going to get someone uh, criticizing me for that, but, you know, it's just my opinion. Yeah, it just doesn't look, or it doesn't seem to compare to the other ones on paper, in my opinion. Uh, let's look at the uh, MIGs. Uh, 864 for kilometers, uh, speed rather, and 28.0 turning on the MIG-9. 137mm cannon and two 23mm cannons, still better. Uh, the MIG-9 late is the same as that, so still better. The MiG-15, uh, 1,076 and 20 for turn time, two 23mm cannons and one 37mm cannon, so still better in my opinion. And then you get the Japanese, which get the KI-200 uh, Shusui, I think? which goes 995 with a turn time of 17 and gets two 30mm cannons. So, I mean, it could just be where it, it's outperformed on paper, but it actually can compete with them on, in an actual battle, but it just seems like uh, the only advantage it has is rate of climb, and that it would get outrun by them. Uh, very easily. Actually, it doesn't even have the uh, the rate of climb advantage. Uh, the Sabre has 38. It has uh, 37. It does, however, beat the um, the ME262 and the HU162. Uh, also, the um, two of the MiGs. The MiG-9, that is. Yeah, uh... Pretty much, uh, all in all, I like pretty much all the British planes, except the Meteors, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. Someone out there probably loves the Meteor. Uh, I haven't played it yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna play it and then make a video and see if I like it by then. Uh, that's probably a long way down the road. Anyways, I've uh, gone on with my rant for too long. Uh, for the premiums, you get the uh, Whirlaway, um, which has two 7.7mm Vickers K machine guns and one 7.7mm Vickers K machine gun turret. It goes 338 kilometers and with a turn time of 36.5. Um, I think it's the Dauntless, actually. Have you seen it? Oh, one sec. Yeah, it actually does look like the Dauntless. Um, yeah. Minus the machine gun, it looks British. Yeah, it's the, uh, the Vickers, but I think it's, like, a, uh, probably a Lend-Lease Dauntless, perhaps? Yeah, because pretty much all the premiums are Lend-Lease. Or capture. Um, then you get the Havoc, which is the A20. It's just the uh, the British version. Um, same bomb loadout. Um, the only difference is uh, instead of a dual uh, Browning machine gun here, it gets a single 7.7mm uh, Vickers K machine gun. And then instead of, I think, six machine gun. Uh, 12.7 millimeter Browning machine guns in the nose. It gets um, four 7.7 millimeter uh, Browning machine gun. That's pretty much the only difference, and the paint job. Um, then you get the Boomerang Mark One, which goes 491 kilometers, a turn time of 22.3, and it gets four 7.7 millimeter Browning machine guns and two 20 millimeter Hispano cannon. Um, here it is in the garage. This is actually Australian, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. 
one way to find out. Yeah, it's just, uh, Australia. Uh, looks like it might be a fun plane. Then you get the Boomerang Mark II, uh, which is it's kind of weird because you have to actually buy the Mark One, so you can buy the Mark II, which seems kind of shitty in my opinion. Uh, it goes a bit faster, uh, turns slower. Uh, I think, I, yeah, it's the same loadout, so pretty much that's it. Here it is in the hang. And it gets a, uh, a blue and white tail. Um, the level 6 uh, premium is the D520. Which uh, gets... Four 7.5 millimeter Mac 1934 machine guns and one 20 millimeter uh, Hispano cannon. Uh, I'm guessing it's French. Italian. Oh yeah, French. My bad. Uh huh. What now? Anyway. Don't worry. Uh. It goes 534 kilometers an hour with a turn time of 22.9. Uh, looks like it might be a fun plane. Um, it seems like it's pretty much a duplicate of the boomerang, except it's a bit faster and it loses a cannon. I think that's pretty much the only difference. Except uh, it gets a 7.5 millimeter uh, machine gun instead of a 7.7 .7 as well. So it goes faster with um, around the same turning, but it loses firepower. Uh, then at level seven, you get a um, a British version of the Hellcat, as you can see here. Uh, 601 kilometers an hour and 27.9 second turn uh, turning is pretty much the same. Uh, same armament, same turning, and same speed. Uh, it's just uh, it just has a British emblem on it, pretty much. Uh, then you get the Typhoon Mark 1B at level 10. This is if you buy one of the starter kits or packs, rather. Um, Actually, that's what I forgot to do. The Hellcat can carry two 1,000 pound bombs, uh, six rockets, or both of them. Uh, the D520 uh, only gets that. Same as the, uh, the Boomerang. The Whirlaway can carry four 250 pound bombs, two 500 pound bombs, or both of them. Or, sorry, not both of them. Uh, it could carry two 500 pound bombs and two 250 pound bombs. Uh, back to the Typhoon. Uh, it can carry two 250 pound bombs or two 500 pound bombs. Um, it goes 522 kilometers an hour with a turn time of 23.7 seconds. Uh, here it is in the garage. And then at level 11, you get the British version of the Mustang, which go it's slower by a lot. So instead of going 711 kilometers, it goes 569 kilometers. It has a turn time of 29.6 instead of 22.5, I believe. Yes, 22.5. However, it um. It gets four 20 millimeter cannons instead of six 12.7 millimeter Browning machine guns. Here it is in the uh, the garage or the hangar rather. It's kind of odd looking with the uh, the cannons sticking out of the wings, in my opinion. And the paint job, uh, I prefer the uh, silver paint job of the American one. Uh, could just be my opinion again. Uh, it can't carry any bombs. 
the American one can carry two 1,000 pound bombs and six or six rockets. And yet again, here is the beautiful P-51D Mustang. It really is a beautiful plane. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Um, like, subscribe, and catch you later.